Now, um, I would like to uh, offer you to uh, watch a video message that was recorded uh, for us by Julien de Normandy, Minister of Agriculture and Food from France. Bonjour à toutes et tous. Je suis très heureux de Welcome cette to you all. I am very pleased to open this new edition of the Forum for the Future of Agriculture. Indeed, I must thank your chair, former Yannis European Commissioner uh, Yannis Potocinic, for his invitation to say a few words today. Diary constraints. Um, uh, unfortunately prevent me uh, from being present, but I recorded this message to raise with you uh, the main issues for the French Presidency of the European Union with regards uh, to uh, farming and uh, forestry sectors. It is an honour for France uh, to co-chair the, uh, the Council of Europe, um, yeah, the Council of the EU from uh, January the 1st. And uh, this will start with the implementation of the new cap. During this French Presidency, we shall, for example, be seeking uh, to ensure the transparency and approval of strategic national plans by the EU. And we will be particularly attentive to ensuring that uh, this implementation uh, complies fully uh, with the uh, political agreements between the European Parliament and the Council. This is very important to us. Looking beyond that, I would like to uh, share with you uh, some firm beliefs for the French uh, presidency. First of all, we must not lose sight of what must guide us in the action we take for the future of European agriculture, and that is agri-food sovereignty. That sovereignty is essential. It must be the foundation of our political vision. That sovereignty is based on uh, three core cool tasks for agriculture for which we must work. Not only uh, the uh, nutrition provided uh, by agriculture, the protection of our environment, but also production that nourishes. We should never forget that this is the uh, uh, core cool task of agriculture. We should never forget that to, to achieve this, we need farmers and new farmers. This means uh, that we need to ensure that producers, farmers, are uh, compensated the right way. Next, my second firm belief, as you know, is the new cap, which will support the agroecological transition. Why that transition is essential for ensuring the food sovereignty of Europe, it will uh, not uh, become uh, fully uh, fruitful if it is not supported the right way. In other words, it must ensure that farmers are at the core of this uh, policy. Indeed, a study by the European Commission for Bechlat Summer shows that uh, the achievement of uh, the Green Deal goals only using the internal policies of the uh, European Union would lead to a rise in prices, a reduction in our agricultural production, and an increase in our imports, and therefore the replacement of the reduction in emissions on our territory by emissions imported from abroad. That would fundamentally compromise its environmental contribution and mean a loss in our sovereignty. We must therefore rethink the rules for our European commercial policy in order to ensure that our sectoral policies, most notably for agriculture, are accompanied by uh, commercial policies that act to protect our production, to ensure that all products placed on the European market are aligned with the environmental, climate and animal welfare goals those same goals that we set for ourselves. We can no longer continue to import products that impact uh, the environment on our territories while we are trying to reduce those impacts. We can no longer understand that certain products are imported, despite the fact that uh, they would not be allowed to be produced um, in our country. Uh, it is uh, not only a matter of fairness in terms of competition, but uh, it is also uh, a matter of uh, meeting our citizens' expectations. And above all, it enables us uh, uh, to make sure that uh, our transition can be faster if uh, there is a new uh, competition from products that uh, are not complying with our standards. We must therefore take action. First of all, uh, we, in terms of the uh, commercial policy itself, uh, it must be made uh, conditional adherence uh, to European production standards. Next, uh, in terms of internal policies, uh, the inclusion 
of mirror clauses uh, that make uh, imports conditional upon adherence of um, uh, European standards. Uh, and this will be one of the core priorities of the French presidency of the EU. You can count on me uh, to pursue this topic, reciprocity with conviction. And lastly, my third firm belief is that we must invest in order to regain more independence, more sovereignty. In France, for instance, we have put in place a national 10-year strategy on plant proteins. The aim is to uh, regain independence on proteins by relocating part of the production uh, to our country, especially in Europe. It's a political priority. Dependence on South American protein is a, an environmental uh, nonsense and also in terms of sovereignty. And this also uh, brings us back to, to the issue of deforestation. And lastly, before concluding, I would like to, you know, to uh, talk about uh, forestry issues. The EU uh, will in fact be engaging in a policy to combat imported deforestation. This contributes to the goal referred to earlier, by which I mean the priority I attach to applying European standards to imported products. More generally, forestry is an exciting area uh, because it stands at the crossroads between a number of environmental, economic and social goals. And we need to succeed in addressing all of these dimensions, taking into account the multifunctionality of forests and the relevant role of the European Union and its member states. This is the reason why I expressed full support on November the 14th for the conclusions of the Council restating this important balance. As you can see, there are many issues, but France's commitment to address them is real. I know I can rely on you to pursue our reflection, to challenge our positions, to take the, debit, the discussion uh, further. And I would like to thank you for this. And you can be certain of my uh, resolve to act. I wish you all an excellent day of work and uh, very fruitful discussions. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you uh, very much to Minister uh, Julien de Normandie. So, as uh, you heard, uh, uh, many uh, challenges uh, that we are facing, uh, but uh, with a strong commitment from France. Uh, now, I would like uh, to uh, give the floor to uh, Sylvain Mestrachi, uh, who is uh, joining me uh, on stage. Uh, he's uh, the uh, CAP councillor Europe uh, and a member of uh, the uh, Minister of uh, Agriculture and Food Cabinet. Thank you very much for making yourself uh, available. Uh, uh, France, uh, uh, the uh, French presidency of the EU will uh, start uh, in January. We've already uh, mentioned uh, farm to fork. And uh, uh, so what will be uh, the implication of France uh, uh, during its uh, presidency on uh, that particular subject? Well, as our minister clearly stated, this uh, strategy um, no, brings about an interesting vision. Uh, this uh, includes a, a, an environmental uh, transition that uh, France supports. Uh, but it will only be efficient if everyone is involved. And the various studies showed that if we just have, uh, uh, if we just uh, looked into uh, the cap, uh, to address uh, these issues, uh, we will not make it. Therefore, I think that uh, uh, France's position uh, is uh, to make sure that uh, we implement uh, uh, the uh, new Green Deal and all of it. And uh, we need uh, to uh, tackle the issue of uh, imported products. And uh, the minister explained uh, uh, very clearly that he has three priorities, mirror clauses, mirror clauses, mirror clauses. Uh, things are starting to change in Brussels. Uh, a few years back, uh, when we were uh, talking about it, uh, nobody really listened to us. But uh, we can now uh, feel that uh, we cannot keep on asking more uh, from our uh, farmers without uh, offering a, a level playing field. 
So we need to see how we manage our imports and how we can make sure uh, that uh, we uh, maintain a fair competition for our farmers. It doesn't mean closing our borders. Uh, France uh, is an export power, exporting power. And uh, so uh, the uh, objective is not to, to close our borders at all. But I think that we need to stop being so naive about uh, what we import. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Mistracci.